Well, hello. Welcome back. If you don't know what's going on, watch part one. I'll put a link down below. Remember how I didn't need to take this apart? Well, now I have to figure out how to put it back together. It's normally sunny and warm this time of year, but we're having a late winter. This is a good time to order boat parts. And now, I'm on to more important things. <clears throat> there we go. Yep. Well, is it obvious yet? Here he is. Welcome to the world, son. My wife and I just can't get enough of how cute he is. Look at him wiggle around. Look at that face. I'm making this video a little longer just for the sake of all you out there watching. Isn't he so cute? Well, boat parts showed up. Let's see what we got. I'm particularly excited about this one. My father-in-law said, make sure you have two bilge pumps. The one that came with the boat is decent, but this, this is the Mac Daddy. We'll be able to take some serious waves over the bow with this. This one's for you, Rick. I got some other goodies too to class the boat up. Thank you. 
I purchased a very cheap electric HVLP sprayer on Amazon in hopes of painting the boat. The paint I want to use is much too thick and thinning it didn't work out too well. Looks like I'll have to roll and brush. I also had dreams of a metal flake paint job, but to do it right would be far too time consuming and expensive. I fuss and fuss with different nozzles and viscosities, but I just can't produce something I like. I think the blue will look pretty good though. Perhaps I can use this HVLP gun on other projects. I also ended up with quite a bit of extra expensive glitter. My little experiment tells all. Let's work on something else now. Before I mix up the epoxy, I call up my dad and ask him for some advice. He's a fine craftsman and skilled mechanic, along with many other things. It's Father's Day as I wrap up this video. I'm celebrating my first one, but I can't help writing this with a heavy heart. This will be my dad's first Father's Day without his. When Jesus speaks about salt of the earth, he was referring to people like my grandpa, a man who put a smile on everyone's face and lived a humble life in order to do good works. I could go on and on, but let's get back to the video. The camera memory ran out right as I was doing the glue up, but let's see how it turned out. I remove my clamps. Ah, not too much cardboard stuck to this. That's good. It sands off easily. I check for fit. It's pretty tight, but I'm using the old transoms dimensions. I know I have a little wiggle room if I pound it in with a hammer but I don't want to get it all the way down there and then have to pull it out to work on it. So I'm just going to go for it. Sanding off the old cardboard and smoothing it out should help a lot. I'm going to even out the edges too. Because I'm in a little bit of a time crunch, I hang it up like this in order to coat it with epoxy so that I don't have to do it twice. Putting a coat on one side, letting it dry, then flipping it over, then putting a coat on the other side, this coat needs to be thin, so I lay it on with a roller and scrape it off when I'm done. We ask that you bless all of you people who are here. Hangai in it. I give, he gives you strength. I can't say in it. He keeps you forever and forever. Amen.